Yeah, yeah. I'm in the booth limbing up right now. Right now. I'm in the booth heating up right now. Right now. Easy P. I say big wood smoke a baby. Okay, here we have the burgers that's filled with cheese. These will be the regular burgers that's going to have all the toppings. I froze the cheese, put it on the inside. I'm going to season them, put them back in the freezer so it can stay cold so the cheese don't start to give way in the inside. Got my cheddar. My mushrooms and garlic and... Um, ginger my bell pepper also got some onions off to the side and i'm gonna make some more burgers out of these too but yeah i'll be back with you guys in a minute and i'm gonna show you what's cooking fries are deep frying they doing pretty good in there i use my salad spinner to take the water off the fries so i won't kill myself Oh, y'all, that's my Christmas dinner. My salmon. Okay, these are soaking, getting the starch out. And these are my onions. Okay, I got my veggies getting translucent back there. These are my plain burgers. These are what I call my Murphy burgers. I know y'all seen Eddie Murphy raw when he was talking about the burgers with the bell peppers and onions. Mixed into the meat. <coughs> Excuse me. Mixed into the meat. That's a lot of red pepper and black pepper going, y'all. Excuse me. But I know y'all heard when he said, you know, his mama used to make the burgers with the bell peppers and onions inside of it. So I did incorporate bell peppers and onions inside the ground turkey. I'm sorry, y'all, if I didn't mention. These are ground turkey burgers. I like to be more on the healthy side. So you won't really... See me doing ground beef or ground pork burgers. You're gonna see turkey burgers. That's it. That's all. So I'm gonna turn this heat down. I was just wanted to get that char on there. I'm gonna turn this heat down. I got more fries cooking. I'm doing them in batches and then throwing them in the oven. I got the oven on 350. That way everything can stay crispy. At the last very second, I'm going to take them out the oven, throw them back in the oil, and that way they will have that nice, crispy outside and the soft middle. You don't want to miss that part. The key to a home fry or um, fries made from scratch with fresh potatoes is to double fry them. So I will be doing that, and I will be back with y'all in the moment. Okay, y'all, I'm finishing up my fries. Also finishing up my cheddar cheese filled burgers. The rest of the fries is in the oven. My Murphy burger, my regular burger. Crumble cheese ready, buns. Cheddar cheese. Mixed up the mayo with like a like a garlic aioli, so it won't be just plain mayo. But yeah. So y'all, at the very last second, I decided that I don't want to do a plain burger, so I'm gonna do a cheddar burger with a medium egg on top. That is going to be awesome. That's my mushrooms, my garlic, my ginger, my big peppers and onions. Ready to top my burgers. And I'm doing this egg, y'all. Still cooking these fries. And then I'll be done because, y'all, my burgers is in there. Okay? So I want to tell y'all thank you and end it out now. But I'm going to end it after I show the burgers. First, then I'll end it out. 
Okay, you guys, I have my regular burgers with egg and cheese on top. I have my blue cheese crumble burgers. And then I have my cheddar burgers when you bite into a cheddar burst out. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you for joining Simply Sweetness. I appreciate you guys. Please subscribe, like, share. Like, share, share, share. I can't stress that enough. And I thank you for joining Simply Sweetness. You have a blessed day. Bye.